Bro, you. Oh my. Dude. No way. Alrighty, what is going on, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Scatty back with some more street content for you guys. You guys can already see it behind me. 2018 GT 350 Mustang, the first one to ever be on the channel. Give me a rundown of what's done to the car so far and what your plans are gonna be. Just for 8,000 miles, so you're still breaking it in. I'm a big fan of the gray, so it was a good choice on your part to get that. Dude, we won't rev any of it, any of it right now because you know how security is, but once you get out there, I already know how it's gonna sound, man. <laughs> this one's right here on the side? Yeah. Yeah. The, pipe, the little rod's hot, bro. It would look good. It would look good. And that you said you are catless on this, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So you guys are going to be able to hear that once we get out into open streets of Mexico. You guys already know how we do reviews on this car. We get some flybys. We get some good um, exhaust sounds while I'm sitting passenger. We get some nice revs out there. I'm really excited. You guys know that we have not had a GT350 on the channel. You guys know me, my favorite thing about most cars is just the exhaust, so I cannot wait to hear it. You guys stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. People have told me when they've, uh, like when I've done Coyote reviews is that Ford doesn't do much with their, uh, their electronic system is just basic. Like basic as hell, nothing much um, to it. Yeah. What do you think about yours? Uh, honestly, bro, I don't think it's as luxurious as like an Audi, Mercedes, okay. something like that. But it's like, I look at it like this, right? Like you're in a muscle car, you're supposed to be like enjoying yeah. the steering wheel. Expe like, uh, yeah. Not like messy. Experience with the with the throttle. Yeah. That's all you want to get on. Yeah. The chassis number J1984. That's yeah. awesome, dude. GT350. And right now it's on um, quiet mode. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Mode. Tell me about that. Now, for yeah. the exhaust modes, what, what's that like for you? We have um, like four different modes. Yeah, like. With two different exhaust modes. Like oh, okay. Different, like, Turn them, you open the valve or you close them? Close right? them, yeah. Closed. Like sport mode and then not on sport mode. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's how it is in, in the scat pack for it's me. It's closed right now and I mean... <laughs> oh! It's kind of, so that's what oh, That right? sounds good. That sounds good, right? But like that's when you pass by a police officer. You can yeah. Get on, you're good to go. Smart. See, okay. now with the scat pack for me, I don't have that. If I want to be quiet, I have to throw it in drive and not in uh, manual and I have to uh, turn my sports mode off. And I could now open the valve real quick. This is what it sounds like. And you oh. can hear it a little bit. I'll give it a... Oh, hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I could definitely, when I hear that rev, I can definitely tell it's a 350 from yeah. a regular Coyote. So quiet mode right now. Is it active right now? Whenever you see, like, let's say you saw a cop, back to quiet. Back to quiet. What are they going to say? Yeah. Um, like, officer, I have no idea what you mean. You guys can see right here, it has a little exhaust, like, two two uh, tips at the end. That looks awesome. And it has lots of control. And then this right here, bro, this is a Mustang. I wouldn't turn this off. You know, you're going to... That's when you, that's when the Mustang start going a little too crazy? That's when you have people in the hospital, bro. <laughs> Dude, it, it, it sounds really good. I can't wait to get into the open roads, because right now, I know... With all the other, I mean, it's still loud, but you know what I'm saying? With all the other cars, we can let it rip. Uh, I'll let it rip right now. Oh. oh my God. Bro, that just sounds no. crazy. No, I always say, man, Ford has the best exhaust out the manufacturer, regardless yeah. if we do anything to it or what the whole deal may be. Yeah. It sounds the best and it feels like you guys just have no limiter. You mm -hmm. know, you guys have no governor there. That's what I hate about owning a Dodge and a, a Scat Pack, you know? Yeah, okay. I have to wait, I have to wait for it to come down for me to show up. Yeah, yeah. That's my boy Red. <laughs> I let that guy drive my car, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he probably ripped it, didn't he? He did, bro. He really did. Ooh. Oh my god. That shit was insane, bro. Yeah, dude, that, those little pops right after just, just letting it off. That's my favorite thing about anybody's exhaust when they get downshift and the popcorn coming out the back. Oh, you know? yeah, man. It He's... sounds crazy. It's her. behind you or something. This is what I call quiet mode when your girl's sitting past you and she wants to hear music. Yeah, yeah, and you're like... 
This is the loudest car I've heard. And this is just from the cockpit. I haven't heard it on the pools or the revs out there. And the best part about it, bro, is like, when I'm in the car, with my windows up, I can hear it, like, especially when you're passing through, like, cities, bro. Yeah. It, it echoes, echoes off the walls. It echoes, oh, my God. It echoes crazy. Oh, hell yeah. pushing it and it's loud as hell and then he gets next to me and it's just idling at Like, this is really loud. I really do that shit. 
It's hilarious. This is crazy, bro. This is the funnest I've had in a car for just a ride alone. <laughs> From you daily in this car, you know, having fun with it, doing everything you can with it, the three favorite things about it so far, and then three things you hate about it. <laughs> I'll start with the thing I hate. All right. Yes. Bro, two, three days, I'm out of gas. <laughs> Low, uh, lowest uh, lowest miles per gallon you've had so far? Eight. Eight? Eight. Wow. Eight. That's lower than mine. I was ripping it all day for no reason. Yeah, just because you wanted to hear it. No, it's that's, that's respect. The clutch spring that came with it. Okay. Annoying spring. Nice. Hard to get used to. A little bit different from, from usual manuals. Yeah, it's very like... It's very tricky. Oh, third thing I hate? Man, the brake dust. Okay. Dashing is all over. Goes right back to it. It looks like I got like custom rims on there or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> custom bronze. Yeah. Now that's for that, that's three things that you hate about it for people who are yeah. deciding or maybe looking in the future to buy a yeah. GT350. Yeah. Now three things that you were gonna tell them if they didn't want to buy it, but you're trying to talk them into it. Uh yeah, I would say that it's a collector's item. Okay. They they stop making them. And it's it's kinda like a piece of history. This car right here. It's got lineage to it. It means something. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have a Cobra on there for no reason. Mm -hmm. I, I loved the Shelby ever since I seen it. You know, I seen it in 2016. I loved it. I was like, I gotta have this car. I mean, I would see it. I used to live in the Bay Area, and I used to see three of them, bro, oh. at the dealership, and they'd be parked outside. Man, they were beautiful. They would make the GTs just like, it wouldn't make the GTs pop. It would make, like, I would look at a 350 and I'd be like, bro, like, this car is badass. It's different, yeah. There you go, Sheriff, they're looking for us. Oh, man. dude, yeah, they really are uh, down this road looking for us now. But no, like, the Sheriff down that road, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Baby the car, you know I don't be Yeah, right. yeah, you gotta, you gotta let but it roll. At the same time, like, I don't really want to, like, abuse it all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm just like, I feel like if I get an E5 tune, bro, I'm just gonna be ripping it all the time. I'm really excited, guys. We're out here in the open fields of Mexico now. So you guys heard the exhaust while we were riding in the car. Now you guys get to hear it while it's sitting right here at idle. So let's rip it. Again, right here, y'all, y'all give my boy a follow. We'll get a walk around again one more time, but let's hear it. Let's go. I'm excited, man. Did you see the sheriff? I did. We passed three. Oh my gosh, guys. You can hear that so well. at me bro you guys could hear him downshifting over there everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy what's up some people are waving what's up hello I love your dog so we're on the other side of the road waiting for him to come back this way uh, we passed three cops three different cops so I'm not sure if they drive by again if they're gonna tell me something about being out here but hello <laughs> oh my god bro you oh my god dude i am in love with the way that this exhaust sounds again guys he is catless with an x-pipe 
and i think that's about it just catalyst with an x pipe and the x pipe has no resonators so yeah that's that's the setup he has on there it sounds crazy jesus christ let me know every video that i've done so far like literally like, as we go as we go there's been cars that are just getting their exhaust louder and louder i honestly think this is the loudest exhaust that's been on the channel regarding the crackles and pops and regarding the flybys so you guys let me know in the comments of any of the other cars that i reviewed or had on the channel was a little bit louder oh it's hard to tell because video doesn't do much justice Dude, look at this. Wow. Dude, those are crazy as hell, bro. Dude, the downshift sounded crazy, even with my, bro, with like yards, yards, I'm talking yards away, bro. I'm hearing them popping yeah. like crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's a crazy car. In the inside, it's not like as loud. The second you step outside, it's like, damn. Dude, and then the at it, it at idle right now, it doesn't sound too crazy or obnoxious. Like some people do build, I mean, it doesn't sound crazy for a lot of Mustangs to build it to, to be loud, loud. But the tone on this is really, really good. Again, y'all, give you guys one more walk around before we do head back into town. Man. Oh, dude, I always have loved, loved, I have always loved the back end of the GC350 and 500s just because of the diffuser. Look at that. Look how the exhaust tips are set up with the diffuser. It looks so menacing. And then the wing back here looks awesome. Man, bad, bad car, y'all. The six pistons again. The front end Shelby, you guys see it. Like I said, he added the white touch on there to accent the Shelby writing. All right, Manu, I even said it in the video, man. I honestly think this is the loudest car I've had on the channel. Loudest car I've had on the channel regarding popping and cracking and full throttle, everything, dude. Yeah, Flybys. Yeah, you know, it's, it's all because the Catalyst and the X-Pipe. Yeah, and it, it's again, I was telling him, it's Catalyst with the X-Pipe, no resonators.
cop right there. That's why I did that. Jeez. Nice. Oh. Yeah, he wants it. He's coming. <laughs> he said it sounds bad. crazy all right y'all so we just got back from mexico you guys see the gt350 chilling you guys got to hear the pools you guys heard the revs the flybys my boy manu is has talked me into considering possibly purchasing one of these and then we were talking about the 20 either 2021 or the future model that they're gonna be building the 10 the 10 speed gt500 yeah. i will have to look into that because i'm not too knowledgeable on that but if that is an option dude you really talked me into it yeah. and all honesty man this was one of the funnest funnest ride alongs i've done i really do appreciate you putting you coming on the channel real yeah. me having like you know with the first gen challenger not with the wide body or anything like that it still it's feels still awesome yeah it still looks sleek and then a lot of people don't know but the handle is like right under it yeah. we're the last car that has those like 1970s 60s handles on the yeah. doors the rest of the cars a lot of them coming in with the open handle like yeah. the hook yeah. which is dope but honestly bro badass car i'm hell excited we were finally able to get that on the channel for everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll get another quick walk around of the GT350. Man, dude, this is so bad. Went with the awesome color, the exhaust setup, and then it's sitting right now at idle sounds awesome. And it could still get quieter with the exhaust modes that he has in the car. The 350R comes with a cat, comes with a X pipe with no resonators on it already. This comes with an X pipe with resonators. He decided to take those off to get it the same sound. Then cutting his cat, that's what brought the pops, the crackles, and those shifts sounded insane on the car. All right, guys, I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. We are right around 2,200 subscribers, so please go hit that button and make sure you guys share, share, share this video. Again, this was the first GT350 on the channel. Had an awesome time. Big shout out to my boy Manu for coming on the channel and hanging out with me for a day. I am honestly considering checking out the GT350s and the GT500s. Now, like I said, we were talking about the GT500s coming with that new 10-speed automatic. This is honestly, I've heard of it. I felt like I've heard it before. Me and Manu got to talk about it a little bit. If that is true, I definitely do want to get my hands on one of those and see if I can test drive one or get that going. Hope we were able to talk you guys into purchasing or at least like myself considering getting yourself, your, getting your hands on one of these 350s. I will see you guys next week. I appreciate all the love.